Hello there, and proudly welcome to this quick data tech tutorial. My name is Apple Smiler. This video or this tutorial is the first in a series of SQL lessons. In this video, we shall be looking at an introduction to SQL, the theoretical lesson behind SQL. You understand and make sure that you understand SQL knowledge as the SQL language, how it is used, where it is used, and also at the end thereof. We practice some SQL create table statement in the Microsoft Access environment all in this particular video. If you have not subscribed, kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on a little bit of notification icon so that you won't miss any of our helpful tutorials. Okay, so SQL, the full meaning being structured query language. What is SQL? SQL is a computer language designed to elicit information from a database. Or it can also be said to be a language that makes interaction with it. My slides in here. Okay, so it can also be said to be a language that makes interaction with databases possible. It was formerly known as SQL. What is a database? So basically, before we come to databases, SQL is a language that solely or is meant to solely interact with databases. What then is a database? It is an organized collection of information stored in an electronic system via a database management system, uh, which is shortened as DBMS. It is important for us to know that SQL is not a programming language as Java, JavaScript, PHP, and the rest. SQL is solely a database querying language. It can only be used in the database environment. Databases are used in companies, hospitals, schools, commerce, government institutions, etc. We move on by looking at some database management system because we have said that SQL can only be used in a database management system. What is a database management system? It is just any software or a platform which allows the creation of databases and manipulation of data possible. So these are common or some popular database management systems that we have here. It is not limited to this. We have Oracle, MySQL, MongoDB, Microsoft SQL Server. We have MaraDB, PostgreSQL, Microsoft Access IBM DB2. Of all these, the most commonest one, the commonest one is the Microsoft Access because getting Microsoft Access is very easy in as much as you've, you've been able to install the Office, the Office suite of Microsoft, being it every version. Once you go to all, once you view all the applications in the Office suite, you'll find Microsoft Access over there. It is a database, it is a database management system which allows the creation of many databases possible. So in this SQL lessons, we shall be Co we shall be practicing our SQL coding all in Microsoft Access. But the good news is that once you are able to pick up the SQL lessons, or once you know SQL language, you can move on to implement it in any database management system that you find yourself using. Okay. Functions of SQL. So these are some common functions that SQL can be used to uh, do or accomplish in a database management system. So. As far as databases are concerned, SQL can be used to create tables or views, insert, update, delete records, select records from tables, append, joins, analysis, basic analysis, etc. So, in subsequent videos, we shall be taking all these and deal with them one by one. But in today's video, we shall be looking at how to use the create table statement to create tables in Microsoft SQL. Okay, so now by the end of this video, we will be able to use the SQL language to create tables as this, but we will not be inserting the records in record insert, which which falls under the insert statement, will be treated in the next video. So we should be expecting the creation of these two tables: the class table and the student table. Okay, so here I will hit my escape key. Now let us move on to start our Microsoft Access application and begin to create our tables using SQL. Okay, so here I already have Microsoft Office 2016 installed. So to start your, or if you also want to find an application, you can simply come in here and type access. So once you type access, you can see that we already have access in here. You click it. Okay, so here you go to blank desktop database. You give it a title. So I will say SQL lessons demo. SQL lessons demo. So once you're done, you click here to choose a folder or specify the directory, the directory in which you want to keep this file or this database. So I want to keep this in my document. So I'll hit OK. 
now create to create your database okay so now successfully we've been able to create our database which is a blank da database you can see we don't have any table queries forms nothing in here so now we move on straight to create these two tables that we had looked at in the slides okay so how do you code or how do you code sql to create tables or how do you create tables using sql in microsoft access it's very simple now here you go to the top the ribbon you click you click the create very sorry you click the create tab now here you come to query design okay so you exit this now you can see we have sql view here or you can click here and select sql view okay so now that you are here it is in this small window that you are going to enter your sql commands or your sql calls to create the table so we start with the students table okay so now begin by saying create you can use capital letters sql is case insensitive so we say create table so now create table what is the table's name so the table's name is students tb okay you open brackets you close the brackets now inside these brackets you are going to specify the table attributes or the columns so if you have a database table just as a worksheet the columns are termed as attributes so how do we create the columns okay so here we say students students id data type is int then we say not now not now meaning that a user will be forced to enter values here or record in the table cannot be saved unless the student id is provided so now first name the next field which is the first name so first name in sql the data type has to be var var cow or varchar so varchar now here you open a bracket and inside the brackets you specify the field length so how many characters must be entered or the maximum character to be entered in the first name field so here i'm going to say 200 i'll close it leave a comma so here last name last name must also be virtual so i'll make it 200 so now move on so let's see our next field here we have age telephone so we say age so age has to be int but then if you would like to store decimals in your age column then you use the float data type instead but then i'll move on to leave it at the int data type so age int now telephone so my telephone to so i'll make it voucher here in ghana maximum tele maximum length of telephone ms is 10 so we say 10 meaning the length of the telephone number field is 10 a user cannot enter more than 10 record 10 characters okay so now we are left with the last probably the last column to go which is a class code okay so we say class code so class code has to be voucher so class code let me make it 10 at least so in subsequent lessons you can see that we have class code here also class code here that as we move along the lessons we'll be looking at how to use a joint statement to create relationship between a student table and a class table but for now that is not our point of interest our point of interest is to know how to successfully create tables using sql language okay so now we are almost done let me close these brackets now don't forget to terminate your sql code with a semicolon okay so now we are done we copy everything so now let's copy everything so that in case of any mistake we can easily just come back and have it retrieved so create table student so create table then specify the table name then your column student id int not now first name virtual last name virtual and okay now with a little word of prayer you click run to run your query okay so now successfully you can see that our table has neatly been created over here so once you open it congratulations you can see that your table has now been created okay so, but now we don't have records in here so in the next lesson we're looking at how to use an insert insert statement to insert records into your tables okay so for now let us create uh, one more so i will save this query as create 
or our students table here. Okay, now I'm going to create I'm going to create another query, another table. We're going to use a query, the SQL. So as usual, we come in here. Now we say create, create table. So this one is a class TB. So class TB. So class TB. Okay, let me put my semicolon here. So here I will say class code. And class code has to be voucher. Voucher. I will store maximum of 10 characters in there. Okay. I will make comma. Then here I will say class name. Which is voucher. Which is also voucher. Here is 15. Which is okay here. Yeah. Okay. So now we've been able to also enter the commands uh, to we have entered the commands or the codes for the class table so with a, little, with a little word of prayer let's run it okay so now we have the class table needed created also over here okay so control s to save this query so we say class tb here now we close it okay so guys thank you very much so this will be the end of the first lesson now we've been able to know what SQL means, how useful it is as far as databases are concerned and also how to use SQL create statements in Microsoft Access to create tables. Okay, now using this knowledge, if you have any other database management system, PostgreSQL or MySQL, you can easily implement this code in there and you will be successful. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe and share. See you in the next video. Bye.